everyone, it's Gidoo. It's pajama time, I forgot. Pokemon, pajamas, anyways. And in this video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of Rintaro Okabe's Nendroid from Good Smell Company, or Hyoween Kyoma. Actually, it even says Hyoween Kyoma version. Let us open him up. I'll let you take a look at his box. He is packed like this. I am sorry, it is so bright. He's super cute. Um, Steins Gate is one of my favorite anime of all time. Uh, highly recommend it if you guys have not seen it yet. It is fantastic. So good. I'm still filming on my iPad because I will not be getting a new phone probably until like September or whenever the new iPhone comes out because I don't see the point in buying the old one when the new one's right around the corner. But my phone's still not working properly, so I'm going to have to deal with this for now. Apologize if I keep looking over here. My screen is here. Camera's over here. The iPad is very big. <laughs> um, so that is that. Here is how he is packaged. He does have a little, like, average um, instructional sheet, as they all do. He's a giant idiot, and I love him. So I'm just going to peel the base off. The base is stuck to the bottom here because um, now their boxes are smaller and they have different packaging for them, although it's been small for months now, so this isn't new anymore. Comes with your regular extra neck joint for his head. Comes with standard base along with the standard joint to hold him up. So that is cool. And then we have him here, so I'm gonna open this up. He's a giant loser and I love him. I love him. Giant dumbass. Here we have his extra face plates. I'm gonna lower the brightness a bit so you can actually see him. Um, we've got this angry looking one, very intense. We've got this smirky closed eye one. I don't even know what expression you'd call that. But yeah, we've got these two here. As his bonus, I don't know why I'm doing that. It's so awkward for me to do this because I'm trying to show you guys, but the the camera's not where I think the camera is at the time. And then I throw his faces around. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, he comes with a tiny hand that holds his tiny phone. You can see. I haven't decided what pose I'm going to put him in, so that will be decided at a later time. Um, and then you guys can watch the closer look where I will show him all posed and everything. I'll put the link in the description below for that as well. Here is holding his little... I forget what they called this in the show, but it's literally just like a lightsaber. Again, giant loser. Um, and there is a tiny Dr. Pepper as well, right here. Dr. Peep, Peep, what does it say? Dr. People. I don't remember if it was that in the show, but it says Dr. People, not Dr. Pepper. Um, very hard to show. Things are falling out. What's new? So now we will pull out the man himself. So the thing with the ones that have their hair pushed back, um, they always have like this hairline going on, but it's still pulls apart but look they've covered this seam with his hair like coming up over it like that which is pretty cool too because I don't really like seeing the seam um so it's better that way in my opinion especially if you can do that with their hair pushed back like why not so he's got some plastic in between his torso and his legs and he's got his little belt and his little lab coat going on He's got a pen in his in his pocket, which again, you can see all of that better um, in the closer look. I will show you guys that. His hair just pulls off from the front like general nendroids. Just going to take a moment. There we go. Okay. And of course, they have the plastic here to prevent from any paint transfer before you receive them. <laughs> it's so weird to see them without the front hairpiece. Like, yeah, this is what the, the whole front hairpiece looks like. So these are all the pieces he comes with. Keep that nice and short. Um, you guys can check out the closer look, which I will link in the description below. His hairpiece, hairpiece like it's a wig, um, is a little tight around his face, so I am scared of paint transfer a little. 
um, but hopefully it won't be too big of a deal, especially if you're keeping the hair on, hopefully where it does paint transfer, it would stay on top of his head. But I did find out a way to get rid of paint transfer, which is not the point of this video, but you use like um, some water and like a magic eraser. You just have to be careful on certain surfaces. But yeah, anyways, this is what he looks like. This is all the stuff he comes with. Um, again, all his different arms that he comes with as well. And if you want to take a look at different poses, um, take a look at the box again. Those are the preset poses. And of course, you could play around and do whatever you want. So I will link in the description below um, all my social media and my affiliate links to CD Japan and Tokyo Taco Mode. If you purchase anything through those links, I get a small commission. Thank you guys so much for those of you who've done it before. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. And then also, I will link his closer look. And that's, that's it. My social media, affiliate links. Check that all out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. The viewership and the support. I'm sorry I have not been active. <laughs> Greatly apologize. Try to get myself back together here. Um, and I will be getting a lot more figures in uh, by July. So July is going to be a big month. Or I guess, I guess August, end of July. Anyways, I'm yammering on. So thank you so much. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!